Hello and welcome to GoSimulation.com, the only place online with comprehensive SolidWorks simulation training. My name is Nick Leister and in this video we're going to take a look at five different ways that you can use SolidWorks to make better selections. The tools that we're going to take a look at are the split line command, the filter toolbar, the select other command, the invert selection command, and the select tangency command. If you enjoy this video, make sure to sign up for our newsletter. The first tool that we're going to take a look at is something called the split line. Now a split line is just a way to take a continuous face and to break it up into multiple faces. That's what I've done here. And the reason why you might use the split line is within SOLIDWORKS simulation. In this case, uh, there would be a person that sits on this bench and I would want to break this bench up into multiple faces so that I could make a selection where the person is going to be sitting. Now, in order to use the split line, what you're going to want to do first is to create a sketch. So what I'm going to do is just create a sketch on this top face, and I'm going to make another split line on the opposite end of this bench. So now that I'm in sketch mode, I'm just going to use my circle command, and I'm going to create a circle. I'll just be quick about it. I'll make sure that this circle is 12 inches in diameter. And once you get a sketch in place, then what you're going to want to do is come up to the Features tab, and then come down to Curves, and then select Split Line. Now what you'll notice is that there are a few different options for how to create a split line. You can create a silhouette, you can create a projection, and an intersection. Now what I use the most is projection and what that does is that projects a sketch onto a face. And so what, what we're going to do is just use this projection option here. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the sketch and then the face that I want to split. And then I'll click the OK button. And once I do that, then we have a split line. The next tool that we're going to take a look at is something called the filter toolbar. Now, the filter tools allow you to filter out your selections that you make on the screen. For example, sometimes you want to make selections for faces, which I'm going to do. I'm going to hold down the control button, and then I'm just going to start selecting some faces. But did you see something? I accidentally selected an edge here. Now, this is pretty common. Sometimes you can accidentally select something that you don't mean to select. Now, in order to avoid this, what I like to do is just click the F5 button. That's going to bring up the filter toolbars. And now, if I want to select only faces, I can select faces from the filter tool toolbars. So let's go ahead and select just faces. If I hover over edges, it will not let me select edges. Now, if I want to select or filter out for edges, I can just select edges here and that way I can only select edges. You can have multiple filters on at the same time. Now keep in mind that it's really easy to enter into the filter toolbar and then click F5 without realizing it. But what you'll notice is that there's a little filter next to your icon. And so what you'll have to do is click the F5 button again to bring up the filter toolbar and then unselect all of the selections here. The next tool that we're going to take a look at is the Select Other command. Now the Select Other command is a great tool if you want to make a selection to a face that you can't see. Now in this case, I might use the Select Other command to select the face which is beyond the face where my cursor is. It's the face that touches this face. Now I could go ahead and hide this body, but if I wanted to select through this face to select the other face, what I can do is left click and then select the select other command. And that way I can select any of the faces or bodies that are beyond where my cursor was. Now if I want to select all of the faces on this body other than these two faces, what I can do is just hold down the control button and then select these two faces and then right click. 
And now I can select Invert Selection and that will select all of the faces other than the two faces which I had originally selected. Now the Invert Selection tool isn't available in the right click menu by default and so what you'll probably need to do is to customize the menu and to do that you just come all the way to the bottom and then select customize menu and then that way you can select the invert selection from here. The last tool that we're going to take a look at is called the select tangency tool. Now the select tangency tool also comes in handy a lot within SOLIDWORKS simulation. Now the way that the select tangency tool works is that you can right click on a face that has tangent faces and then select select tangency. And once you do that, all of the faces which are tangent to the original selection that you've made are now highlighted. SOLIDWORKS comes with a magnifying glass that allows me to make selections to small sections of the model. Now the way that the magnifying glass works is you just hover your mouse over a section of the model and click the G button. Once you click the G button that brings up the magnifying glass and you can zoom in or out and that won't affect the rest of the model.